hello guys so welcome back to my channel how are you doing my lovely subscribers it's nice coming your way again it's been a while i hope you're all doing great thank god for life i'm grateful to be here once more it's been a while i've been busy with work school and all that and i was so busy that i had to round up that's why you haven't seen any video from me but in any way we are here now we thank god so we move guys so in today's video we're gonna be talking how international nurses or abroad nurses or foreign nurses overseas nurses however you can call it once you studied nursing outside ireland how you can register with the nmbi nursing and midwifery board of ireland and become an irish nurse this video has been on demand for a long time by the way if you don't know me and you're just coming across this channel i am linda of linda michaels tv i'm a nurse I'm a mom, lifestyle vlogger, and I also do videos about Ireland, Discover Ireland, because I've been staying here for a while and I get questions from my subscribers, and that drew me into making videos about Ireland. So stay tuned if that's what interests you in knowing about Ireland, videos about jobs, school, lifestyle, housing, whatever you can ask in Ireland as a question, I'm here to answer, all right? Stay tuned and stay connected and if you haven't subscribed please try and click the subscribe button and be part of the channel okay and tune your notification bell to all so you can be seeing my videos and i promise throughout the summer i'll be putting out a lot of videos of interest that you would benefit from all right thank you for hanging and in today's video i'm gonna be talking about as i said before our intro how you can come and work in ireland as a nurse okay so let's get into this video if you are interested you can get a pen and paper and jot down the processes but i will also direct you to the nmbi website and i will leave the link in the description box where you can get more information about everything you need to do all right so let me guide you on the first steps so first of all if you have to register with the nmbi that's nursing and midwifery board of ireland you have to be a nurse all right a qualified nurse and a licensed nurse in your country or any country of your study once you have your license as a nurse and you're on the registration board of your country or where you studied that's that made you qualified to come and register as a nurse in ireland okay now that's the number one criteria that you must have then the next thing is you try to get your english proficiency results or is oet for is you need to get band 7.0 in any tree and 6.5 in any one do you understand that this is different from the uk method that's the nmc which you have to get 6.5 is like in writing in particular but in ireland is flexible that 6.5 makes it flexible you can get it in any model there are four models listening writing reading and speaking so you can get 6.5 in any one but you are expected to get seven in three out of the four and total band will be 7.0 upwards then we die are good to go with ios then if you are going for OET, you are expected to get B in speaking, B in listening, and B in reading. Then you are expected to get C for writing in particular. So if you are going for OET, you are expected C in your writing at least, then B in the rest. Those are the criteria for English proficiency. Let me remind you guys, there's nothing like red list in Ireland as it is in the UK. All right? that's the first thing to do you download the user guide go through it to get more information so the next thing you will do is you check for recognition all right they'll ask you if you are a new applicant you try uh, for recognition there are g1 g2 g3 okay so those that are g1 are those that studied in ireland they don't need much protocol G2 are people from the EU. If you studied in Poland, Italy, Germany, France, you are G2. So you don't have much protocol. Let me go straight for the G3 who are more of my subscribers. Those that are coming from countries outside the EU. 
and those that are coming from US, UK, New Zealand, Australia and Canada, they are also classified as DG2 together with the EU. They can easily register into NMBI without all these protocols, all right? Their own cases are different. So if you are G2, you read the requirements for the G2. If you are G3, then follow this guide I'm saying in this video, all right? So now for the G3, which are people outside the EU and outside of these uh, five countries I've mentioned. Now, what next you need to do when you open your account, you read the user guide, there are list of documents required, okay? But for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna talk about the document side, but know that every document will be notarized. So everything will be there. I will make a different video so we don't stay too long here. All right. You submit all your documents and you give them time. You have to pay 350 euros currently. It was 300 before. So when you give them time, like a month to two, three months, it depends. Everybody's case is not the same for your decision later. Okay. It's either you are accepted, but it's rare. It's mainly for those that are from G2. Then is either you are giving a decision letter of yes as in you are accepted and you are then you are accepted when your study is within three years but if you do anything less than three years they may you may receive a refusal letter okay so when you are accepted the next thing you do you will use your decision letter to start looking for employment in ireland I'll be bringing out list of companies that are employing nurses from abroad, okay, in my subsequent videos, all right? So you start looking for employment. Most people know this process and most to most people is new. So if it's new to you, after getting your decision letter, after you have submitted all the required documents, if there is anyone lagging, they will still write you and you will provide it. Any other thing, further information they need to know, you clarify it. After then, your decision letter is out, then you start looking for employment in Ireland. And the employers, what they're looking for is decision letter, you know? They will ask you, do you have your decision letter? And you say yes. They will know that yes, you are good to go. Then they can start up the employment process with you after you get your decision letter. So when they start up the employment process with you, they will book you for an interview. They will ask you to submit any documents they need as your employers, years of employment and everything, work experience, and you submit everything that they need. I will still talk about that during the document video. When everything goes well with you and your employers, they will give you your COS, which is Certificate of Sponsorship. And they will give you offer letter. They will also give you a contract to sign. And read your contract very well before signing. All right? Make sure you will adapt to what is written there before signing. With this document now, you head on to the embassy. All right? In Nigeria, there is Irish embassy in other countries like Ghana. They have to come to Nigeria. I don't know of um, most other countries, but find out where your country can go or if you have an embassy just head on to your embassy submit all the documents that you receive from your employer the embassy will ask you their own documents and you make sure you will provide everything all things being equal you will get your visa so once you get your visa you will still be communicating with your employers they will sponsor you your ticket and everything it just depends i don't want to start mentioning but go with your employers work hand in hand with them know what they can do for you i know it's under critical skill so either you sponsor yourself or they sponsor you but in most cases for nurses they are being sponsored all right so now you move ahead to ireland once you've gotten your visa all right when you land in ireland you can't start working as a nurse because there are two processes you have to undergo so one is either you take the aptitude test, you have to choose, or you do the adaptation, all right? So the aptitude test comes in OBJs, that's multiple choice questions and practicals, all right? So now you register with the RCSI. Sometimes your employers can register you and pay for you. It depends, most times, okay? 
so you don't go suffering paying for yourself the employers do that mainly so when it's time for your exam you see the exam you can do that exam within your two weeks in ireland or within one month it just depends on you and your employer you guys will work hand in hand to know what best for in this situation so when you go for the exam you prepare very well i'll still make a video on the exam when you pass it you are registered and you get your pin another one is the adaptation sometimes the nmbi may say by themselves that you must undergo an adaptation maybe from what they saw from your school of study and everything if they think it didn't really reach the level they will send you for an adaptation or some people like purposely choose to go for an adaptation and that adaptation lasts for six to twelve weeks it just depends okay in that case you'll be supervised you'll be working under supervision to see your competencies your abilities and capabilities as a nurse to handle situations and you'll be giving directives and more things you need to know all right then you'll be taking kind of a practical exam under supervision then your head of department or whoever is overseeing you under that adaptation will write the result for you either incompetent which means you need uh, more weeks of study to get um, acquainted with the working situation or competent which means you're ready to go with what the result is if it's competent then you your pin will be given to you by the nmbi okay so these are the two processes adaptation or aptitude test those are the two once you pass the test you get your pin within that week once you are through with your adaptation and you are competent you get your pin you start working all right your employers will now fix shifts for you and you start being your ships but one thing is you don't come and you realize some people i heard them making videos saying you can't work in ireland unless you pass you can work as a healthcare assistant all right once you land in ireland as a nurse that's your company that are hiring you as a nurse they will fix you to be working as a healthcare assistant they may decide to pay you more than how they pay the healthcare assistants or they pay you as a nurse it just depends on them but you won't come and sit down just be staying at home you will start working as a healthcare assistant. That, that's if you wish all right if you say no i need to prepare for my exam let me just wait you can still decide to do that and use that time to prepare for your exam most people i see they work as healthcare assistants before their pain is out so guys this is the raw story about it okay in another video i will show you the step-by-step -step documents you need to provide and all that all right so if you haven't subscribed to this channel at this point what are you waiting for because there are lots of things coming at least i have time now to offload what i have for you guys okay to be downloading and uploading so subscribe like this video share it to your relatives anybody that may gain from the video and see you in my next video ciao ciao